Hey, this is Dr. Ketu. Are you one of the nearly 50% of the people worldwide who is not getting enough of this powerful mineral? And the effects of that deficiency can be felt in everything from your energy levels to your mental health and even your sleep. You might be missing out on this powerhouse of mineral that supports over 300 biochemical reactions in your body. In today's video, we dive deep into why magnesium is crucial for your health and trust me, you will want to stick around until the end of this video because I'm sharing an essential tip about magnesium supplements that many people miss. This is what you will learn in this video. The role of magnesium in energy production, muscle function and mental health. Also, common signs of magnesium deficiency, the best types of magnesium supplements and which one might be best for you how to include magnesium rich foods in your daily diet. Stick around till the end. I will discuss the best way to take magnesium and tips on how to take them to have maximum absorption and better benefits. Let's get started. Magnesium plays a crucial role in many bodily functions through several molecular mechanisms. It plays an important role in energy production. Think of magnesium as your body's battery charger. It is like the unsung hero of your body, quietly charging your bodies while you binge watch Netflix. It is important for making ATP, which is like the energy currency of your cells. Magnesium hooks up with ATP to create a power duo that your body's enzymes can actually use. It's like a key player in turning the food you eat into energy you can use. Next is how it affects the DNA synthesis. Magnesium is like a DNA's bodyguard. It's also a helper for enzymes that copy, fix and read your DNA. Without magnesium, your DNA would be like a book with loose pages and no one to read it. Also, magnesium helps balance out calcium to control how your muscles contract and relax. It's like a traffic cop for calcium in the muscle cells, making sure everything flows smoothly. Another role of magnesium in the body is in the nerve function. In your nerves, magnesium is like a chill pill. It helps control the release of neurotransmitters, which are your body's message carriers, and keeps calcium in check. It's also crucial for maintaining the electrical charge in your nerve cells, kind of like keeping the batteries charged in your TV remote. It's also important in heart rhythm regulation. For your heart, magnesium is like dance instructor. It helps coordinate the movement of other minerals like calcium, sodium, and potassium in and out of your heart cells. This dance keeps your heartbeat steady and strong. Magnesium can also affect bone health as it is part of your bones building blocks. It also helps manage calcium and vitamin D. Magnesium also plays a role in blood sugar controls. It's like a key that helps unlock your cells so that it can let insulin in. This helps keep your blood sugar levels steady. It's also involved in how your body releases and uses insulin. These molecular mechanisms show how magnesium, though often unseen, is like the backstage crew of your body. You don't see it, but without it, the show can go on. So, how common is magnesium deficiency? Based on my research, magnesium deficiency is more common than many people realize, but exact prevalence can be hard to determine due to challenges in assessment. Here are some key points that I found. Estimates of magnesium deficiency in the general population vary a lot, ranging from about 2% to over 40% in some studies, depending on the population assessed, the method of measurement, and the criteria used to define magnesium deficiency. Some specific populations, such as pregnant women or elderly, or those with certain health conditions, may have even higher rates of deficiency. For example, in people with type 2 diabetes, one study found that 45% were magnesium deficient based on serum magnesium levels. Interestingly, a study found that when doctors specifically tested for magnesium in hospitalized patients, 47% had low levels. So, while magnesium deficiency might be flying under the radar for many of us, it's a lot more common than we thought. Another important statistic is how much magnesium are we consuming? A study found that average magnesium intake from food alone was only 260 milligrams for men and 234 milligrams for women who didn't use dietary supplements. These levels are below the recommended quantity for magnesium 
which is usually 300 to 400 milligrams. When you include supplement users into this mix of uh, patients studied, average total intake increased to 450 milligrams for men and 390 milligrams for women, which are above the recommended intake levels. So how do you know if you're not getting enough magnesium? Look out for these signs, muscle cramps and twitches, fatigue and weakness, irregular heartbeat, osteoporosis, high blood pressure, mood changes, including depression and anxiety, migraines and not able to sleep, which is called insomnia. If you're experiencing any of these, it might be worth checking your magnesium levels. If you're considering a magnesium supplement, it is important to know there are different types, each with its own benefits. First one is magnesium citrate. Great absorption, but watch out. It might send you running straight to the bathroom. It has mild laxative effect. Next is magnesium glycinate. It is well absorbed and gentle on the stomach. The next one is magnesium chloride. Good absorption, often used in topical applications. Next one is magnesium oxide. Less absorbable, often used for constipation relief. Magnesium malate is another preparation that may help with conditions like fibromyalgia. Next is magnesium threonate. It can penetrate the brain barrier, potentially beneficial for cognitive function. And the last one is magnesium sulfate, also known as Epsom salt, used in baths for muscle relaxation. The best type of magnesium for you depends on your specific health needs and goals. Now let's talk dosage. The recommended daily allowance for magnesium is 400 to 420 milligrams for men and 310 to 320 milligrams for women. For pregnant women, they may need 350 to 360 milligrams per day. But remember, the exact amount you need can vary based on factors like age, your gender, overall health. Uh, always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. While supplements can be helpful, the best way to get magnesium is through your diet. Here are some magnesium-rich foods. For example, dark leafy greens like spinach and kale. Then nuts and seeds, especially almonds, pumpkin seeds and cashews. Whole grains like brown rice and quinoa. Legumes such as black beans and lentils, avocados, bananas, and yes, even dark chocolate. Chocolate is basically a health supplement now. So what can adequate magnesium do for your health? Here are some potential benefits along with the evidence. Magnesium may help lower blood pressure, particularly in those with hypertension, but it shouldn't replace prescribed medications. A study published in 2016 found that magnesium supplementation significantly lowered blood pressure especially in people with insulin resistance or pre-diabetes. Magnesium can also promote better sleep by regulating neurotransmitters. Some studies suggest that magnesium can alleviate mild anxiety and depression symptoms, but the evidence is not that strong and it is definitely not a substitute for serious mental health treatments. The research shows that people who don't consume enough magnesium in their diet or low blood levels of uh, magnesium are more prone to have migraine attacks. Magnesium may reduce the frequency of migraines, especially in those with low levels. A study in 2021 showed that oral magnesium oxide supplementation for 12 weeks significantly reduced migraine days, migraine pain severity, and acute medication intake. Here is another great benefit of magnesium. It supports energy production and muscle function, which may enhance your athletic performance, particularly in those who are deficient. Also, adequate magnesium intake is linked to better bone density and may help prevent osteoporosis, but it should be part of a broader approach with calcium and vitamin D. Magnesium can improve insulin sensitivity and blood sugar control and may even raise the level of good cholesterol, HDL but it's not a replacement for diabetes medications or lifestyle changes. Magnesium has anti-inflammatory properties that can benefit overall health. Although magnesium is generally safe, it is important to note a few precautions. High doses of magnesium can cause GI side effects, which is diarrhea, nausea, and abdominal cramping. Also, people with uh, kidney or heart problems should consult a doctor before taking supplements. Magnesium can interact with certain medications, including antibiotics and diuretics. If you're taking any medications, always check with your healthcare provider before starting magnesium supplement. 
Before we wrap it up, here is the key tip about magnesium absorption. Not all forms are equally absorbed by our body. For better absorption, consider chelated forms of magnesium, which means magnesium is combined with an amino acid to improve the absorption. Examples of chelated magnesium are magnesium glycinate or magnesium citrate. These forms are generally well absorbed and gentler on your stomach. Also, taking your magnesium with food can help improve absorption and reduce any potential digestive discomfort. And here is a bonus tip. Vitamin D helps your body utilize magnesium more effectively. So, ensuring adequate vitamin D levels can boost your magnesium absorption too. Remember, the best form of Magnesium can vary depending on your specific health needs. So it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional. There you have it, your comprehensive guide to magnesium. From its crucial role in your body to different types of supplements, you are now equipped with to make informed decisions about your magnesium intake. Remember, while supplements can be beneficial, they are not a substitute for balanced diet. Always aim to get your nutrients from whole foods first. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more health and nutrition tips. Until next time, stay healthy and stay happy.